lot of us are typically talking about effort allocations that has been in our uh, fabric of our discussions for years and years. Um, and sometimes when we talk about allocating other materials, uh, we lose that connection, but it's kind of the same thing. Anything that is a resource to a project has to have an allocation method. Um, and we sometimes talk about things being fully allocated to a project and sometimes only a portion of what that cost uh, the cost of that resource is can be allocated. So we're going to talk about what that means about an allocation. So just the piece of the pie. Uh, some early thoughts on best practices, but just as an introduction, uh, we think this is both a pre-award and a post-award issue. Many times people talk about this in post-award, right? That's where the rubber hits the road for allocation. We want to make sure we're doing the right thing. But in pre-award, if you are a pre-awarder out there at the webinar, this is just as much you because you set up the plan in order to be able to work through that allocation later in post-award. So the planning part is all you. So your post-award compatriots want you to know that this is also you. And then it is for all stages of a project. We have to make sure that we are collecting and applying our institutional policies that Talise will talk a bit about. We have to make sure that we're applying sponsor policies, uniform guidance, mixing it all together into that right mix to get the right piece of pie. Um, and so making sure that throughout the life cycle of a project, we're really talking and thinking about allocation all the time. So what makes it challenging? So when Whenever we talk about allocation, the first thing that comes up is how in the world do I start to figure out or with the project team figure out which part and portion can I charge to a project? So a lot of times when we have our interests of our investigators, they have highly related projects, they interlace with each other. Sometimes you'll hear investigators say they aren't even sure exactly which project they're working on maybe at a single point in time, Definitely the technical staff will say that. Um, so making sure that you have good tools and questions around to kind of separate out as much as you can these different types of projects and different activities. Uh, another thing that makes allocation difficult is thinking about funding sources. Often we immediately talk about sponsored projects. We think about, I can charge this to a project or that, forgetting that maybe some of that allocation is to our own institution. And so thinking about all the disparate funding sources we have at our disposal that we have to keep balanced. So making sure that that's on the horizon and making sure we're keeping track of all of those. And then figuring out how we can determine a way to split things up, but thinking really about where is the benefit happening? How do you define benefit? Um, a lot of times in conversations with investigators, they may associate benefit with a goal of the project as opposed to the benefit of time. So thinking through this benefit process is important. And also remind, remembering that things change. What we decide today is not necessarily what's going to be true a week from now, a month from now, and definitely not a year from now. So watching that time horizon is going to be also important. Hey, Heather, I just wanted to yes. add a couple of things uh, that, that I was writing as you were talking. This cost-benefit relationship is so foundational to what we do, and that is really how we can defend how costs can go somewhere. Okay, so we can't assign a cost without a commensurate benefit being received by that funding source. So that's just a one of those foundational things that's always important to keep in mind. The other thing uh, that I was thinking about is that last bullet. Answer to the decision can change over time. Boy, this really speaks to the fact that the work is not done once the initial allocation is yes. done. It is very possible over the life of that award, over the life of using those expenditures, that things do change. And that speaks to the importance of managing awards throughout the life of an award. It can't just be something that is won and done. That's just our reality uh, as, a, as a recipient of sponsored funding.